All right, hello all. It's that time again for more Arch Linux torture coming at you from uh, Arch Linux XFCE or desktop. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to talk about uh, helping you to compile packages from the Arch Linux user repository. Now, that doesn't have to be uh, through strictly command line, but I am going to use the command line. But if you're using something like PAMAC or a package installer that includes uh, uh, packages from the Arch Linux user repository, some of this might help um, in speeding up the process of building. So I'm just uh, one I know that's uh, really heavy on compression is uh, Google Chrome. So I'll just type in uh, Google dash Chrome, and too bad it's not named Giggle, <laughs> but it's not. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there we go. We want Google Dash Chrome, the stable release. So you can download a, the snapshot. Again, you don't have to do this, but uh, this is just for demonstration. And there you go. You can search Giggle again. All right. So package is done. <laughs> and wherever you download it to, and we'll just extract this out. Again, this is just for demonstration. So it's already been extracted. So uh, bust out a terminal. <laughs> and I'm going to, there's a program, I mean a configuration file in Arch Linux called make uh, pkg config. So I'm going to edit that as root to show you what I'm um, talking about. Make pkg.conf. So we'll open that. Mainly, we're interested in the C flags, okay? And the uh, Arch Linux uh, documentation on this part says to make the multi architecture native and take it a few lines. So I'll uh, reference that uh, in, in the notes on the video or I'll reference both. And this uh, CXX flags, not so much. Um, I just uh, put the M2, M2 to AMD FAM10, which is AMD whatever. <laughs> uh, I have a six-core processor. Uh, the one I found interesting, and this this will be commented out. Let me move this here. This make flags will be commented out, and there won't be anything. Um, there'll be something else in here. So the uncomment that. And what I found interesting is the J uh, compiler uh, string is put no proc, you know, dollar sign, dash J, dollar sign, no proc. Again, I'll no notate that. And what's kind of neat about that is uh, if you have multiple cores, it'll just pick up how many cores you have and use them. So, you don't, it's almost a almost a global thing you can get away with and not have to worry if you don't have enough cores. It'll just use whatever you have. And the build environment, um, you got to be careful, a little careful. Make sure you have enough memory, but it does help if you uncomma the build directory here. You just have to uncomma it. There's nothing you have to add. And it'll build this in Arch Linux uh, temp, which is actually in memory. So that's why I said be careful because if you have a large, I doubt you will, but you might one day have a large package and you, and you'll, you will run out of memory. Uh, so it uses about half of your, your, your installed memory. Okay. So, um, by default. So anyway, we'll go down to, uh, compression XZ, which is, as it, uh, mentioned before is in the later arch. Uh, ISO builds and it probably was updated uh, anyway and I added it, this option T dash T that's for threads and then the number six there's a space there I had it at T0 but it didn't it, I didn't see the compression kicking in with uh, it only kicked in on, on two cores so I left I put I put it at T6 so you have to decide how many cores you have if you have two just put two there if you're not sure just make it zero Okay, but I'm going to put in six there. And then whenever you're done with that, just uh, save and close. So back to our uh, oops, downloads folder. 
Google Chrome is extracted. And again, you don't have to download the package. You can use another installer. And again, it's just for demonstration. Um, I'm just going to type in make pkg dash small s and press enter and there'll be a bit of time uh, for the downloading so that's not taken into an account of course and it's going to ask if you want to have the build dependencies so you just download those temporarily and then it takes a bit of time uh, 30 seconds or so so far my internet holds up uh, to download the Google Chrome stable and if you notice this dot deb file so basically probably whatever it's coming from Ubuntu probably um, uh, and it just converts it so we can install it uh, in Arch so quickly here another terminal I'm going to type in top uh, I like the Arch Linux top it's pretty cool. You can see that it's compressing, and you, ha you notice I have six cores, and they're pretty much uh, pinned out. Uh, it still takes a while, even with that. But you see the compression here, and the cores here. So obviously those settings in the, the make package uh, work. Okay, so it's uh, finished installing, and that's, that's basically all you have to do is just modify a couple of lines in the... Uh, make package configuration as root and you you should have a little it should be a little faster um, in not only compiling this one didn't really have to compile as much but more of uh, the compression it's the last setting I mentioned in the make uh, make package configuration file but you can see that it, it does make a difference that it compiled you know fairly quick okay so I hope that uh, helps anyone that's uh, using the Arch Linux user repository to install packages and maybe speed them up a bit so it doesn't take so long for you. And that should do it for this one. So thanks so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.